This is 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and all that live godly and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. All right. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. We are the prophets of Babylon, Tampa, Florida. My name's uh, Abal Gabar. Tazamak Amah. All right, and uh, next double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who do indeed teach in Ruel. All right, this lesson is going to be centered around uh, the persecution that is coming, man. You know, our Lord was persecuted. The prophets of old were persecuted for what? For speaking the truth. All right, in this world, uh, the truth is spoken evil of. And, you know, you see what's going on with this Alex Jones thing. You know, he's set up as a, a puppet, you know, to uh, really come down on the uh, men of the Lord, the prophets. All right. You know, um, his verdict was what? 50 million. You know, they said he had to pay 50 million for him speaking up against the whole Sandy Hook thing, you know, which really is going into the, um, you know, anything that's against what this society or this uh, a devil, his agenda, anybody that speaks up against his agenda, they're going to come for it, man. And who, who is that? Mainly the, uh, the prophets. All right. They're coming. They're going to come down with great wrath. Some brothers might even be uh, cast into prison. You know, and we got to prepare for the person persecution that is coming because it surely is coming. All right. If you could uh, bring that scripture back. Second Timothy three and twelve. Yea, and all that live godly in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. Yeah, you see that. So the ones that live godly in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai are going to be the ones that suffer persecution, man. The believers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, this is a big part of the gospel, understanding that persecution is coming. All right, great death, destruction. All right, it's coming to the land of America. You know, we always go into the famines. We always go into uh, the uproars, the earthquakes, you know, the, the pestilence. But another thing that's coming is persecution, all right, for speaking this truth. They're going to be labeling brothers uh, domestic terrorists, going to be labeling you, labeling you uh, rapist. Well, everything in the book they're gonna say you're everything in the book and that's why you have to be fully persuaded in your own mind if this is really for you okay because a lot of brothers in that day are gonna sell out are gonna uh, flip the script you know once you see your face on the uh, the you know <laughs> channel 7 news or whatever and they calling you every name in the book next thing you know you got your family turning on you family members calling you and, and guess what they're gonna believe what the TV says they're not gonna believe what you say you know, they're going to believe what the TV says. So you're, you, we are going to be deemed enemies, man, of this state, man, of uh, the United States. You know, because we're speaking against this place, okay? Which is all biblical prophecy. It's not like we're just coming up with just random conspiracy theories. No, we're telling you what's written in the book. All right, Jacob's trouble, the worst time in history. People are going to be um, killing each other. You know, the MOTB. The Karagma, where everybody's going to have to be uh, implant, uh, implanted with a uh, CHIP, all right, which is the Karagma spoken of in Revelation 13. You know, but persecution is coming, man. Demonization. They're going to demonize the prophets. They're going to demonize brothers. And that happened in time past, all right? And the Lord himself, he even said, you know, that the servant is not greater than his master, all right? But, um... I got this real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 10. It says, We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but you are wise in Hamashiach. So we're, we're the true wise ones. All right, starting with the head elders and apostles of the great millstone on down. All right, but we're seen as what? We're seen as fools. Seen as nothing. You know, we're going to be defamed. You know, but hey, before we get the fame, you know, because there is going to be fame as well that comes with this. You know? Especially if you are of the elect, your name's going to go down in history, man. And we pray to be numbered amongst the elect. But before the fame comes, you're going to have, you're going to be infamous, okay? You're going to be hated. You're going to be despised by all men, you know? So we're coming into a time where that, that persecution's coming. And they're going to primarily put the microscope on the prophets, man, on the men of the Lord. So don't be surprised you wake up one day and your face is on the TV screen. They got a... 50 million dollar bounty for you all right they gave this man 50 they gave alex jones a 50 bad he had to pay 50 million for speaking up against what happened at sandy hook all right 
50 million. So it's nothing for this devil to put 50, 50 million on your head and put your face on the uh, TV screen, man. You don't think mama and daddy going to be selling you out for that 50 million? The scripture says the love of money is the root of all evil. And that's what people have in this society. They have the love of money. And if you have the love of money, it ain't nothing for you to sell out whoever for that 50 million. And guess what? That That's coming. You might have a, a $50 million check on your head soon. All right? Don't be surprised if your woman sells out. Don't be surprised if your, your mom, your dad, uncle, whoever you stay with, grandma, auntie. <laughs> Next thing you know, they trying to, hey, come home, come home, come home. You go home. Next thing you know, you got the FBI at your house because she sets you up for that $50 million. All right? Wh whoever. You know, and that's just a possibility. But it says... Uh, we are weak, but you are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. Okay, so the prophets of old were despised, and we are going to be despised, man. And how? why are we going to be despised? For speaking the truth. For t speaking the truth. It's not like we're going to be despised because we going out here being wicked. No, we're, we're going to be despised and hated for speaking the truth. Okay, speaking up against this devil, man. It says... Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. Right, brothers catching hell. <laughs> Even right now. Brother, brothers is catching hell now and you can still go to the store and fill your grocery card up. You know, you can still go to work, make you some daily shekels. All of that is coming to an end soon. And then on top of that, they're going to be demonizing you. You're going to be hated. You're going to be despised by family members, by friends that you thought was your friends. All of that. It says, and labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. So that's the spirit we got to be in. And that time when, when they come for us, man, you got to be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai was led to be... Uh, crucified when he was carrying his cross you got an Israelite spitting at him pulling patches of his beard out you know calling him all manners and names and, and guess what Yahweh Shai had the power to destroy everybody but he didn't he held his cross and he kept walking man that's how we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to keep pushing you know we can't we're not gonna be able to fight fire with fire we're gonna have to fight fire with water Okay, and that water represents the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You know, because as the scriptures say, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That's not just written for, for any reason. You're not just going to be eating Cheeto puffs, playing fucking video games until the end, and oh, I made it. No, you're going to be hated. You're, you're going to be despised. Okay, people are going to look at you all different types of way. And like I said, you might see your face on a damn TV screen. And they might say, this guy's a, a, a terrorist, a this, a that, a this. And guess what? You got to endure that. All right? Uh, what you got, Ock? Uh, this is Mark 13 and 11. But when, uh, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand when ye shall speak. Neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in the hour that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Right, so, you know, they're going to come, the Lord's going to put the Spirit on His men, alright, they're going to come, they're going to deliver you up to the synagogues, up to the chief priest, up, which, you know, the judge, you know, you're going to, they might come for you, they might put you in cuffs, that's coming, man, they're going to say, hey, look, you are um, going down for a treason, you know, speaking up against this place, you know, they're going to call you a, a, a DT, you know, and you're going to go have to go down for question. It might cast you into a FEMA camp. But the Lord said, don't think about what you're going to say. The Lord is going to put a, a mouth on us that our adversaries cannot gain, say, nor resist. Yahweh Shirat is how we be the elect. All right. Now, real quick, before we go there, let me finish this off. It says uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 4 and 12. It says in labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. So what are we going to do when the persecution comes? You're going to have to suffer it. And this is what you have to meditate on in your mind. Jake, so 
uh, you know, which we always go into, and it's a beautiful thing. You know, Jake think that the spiritual power is just gonna come. <laughs> you're just gonna get it. No, you're gonna you're gonna be proven. The Lord is gonna have to try you. All right, the Lord is going to try every single one of us. You know, and in that you're gonna be persecuted, you're gonna be hated. You know, and that's that's part of the gospel. All right, it says, being persecuted we suffer it, being defamed we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscoring of all things unto this day. Right. You know, Esau Edom and his media, you know, he has the power to make you look like he, he has technology now to literally have your face, put your face on a TV screen and make you say something that you never even said. So you might see your face on a TV screen of saying some off the wall shit, some shit you, you couldn't even think about. But the devil got your mouth moving like this and words coming out that sound just like your voice. And that that's the technology this devil has, man. So we're going to be made as the filth of the whole world, man. And this is something you just got to prepare your mind for. Now, obviously, the elect is going to overcome. You know, the elect is going to be kept safe. You know, regardless of what takes place, the Lord is going to be there for his elect. You know, the Lord isn't going to allow this devil to just do whatever he wants to the elect. You know, but in that, you will be defamed. You will be put. They will paint a picture of you of being this filth. This terrible person. Okay. All for what? Speaking the truth. Speaking up against wickedness. All right. It says, um, being defamed, we entreat. So being defamed is part of this thing. We are made as the filth of the world. And are the offscoring of all things unto this day, right? You know, that's why people, they separate, even now, people separate themselves from you. They might, you know, even family members, they might give you that, that, that funny eye, that side eye. And why is that? Because you're speaking the truth. All right? And we live in a world that the truth is evil spoken of, man. You brother, you got anything? Yeah, he was going to finish. Go ahead. I, you can uh, finish that bad boy. Going down to verse 12, Mark 13 and 12. Now the brothers shall betray the brother to death. Now what? Now the brothers shall betray the brother to death. That's heavy. Brother. We're talking about blood, blood brothers is going to be betraying brothers to death, man. Deliver brothers up to death. All right? And that's why, you know, we got to be tight in the spirit, man. You know, you might even have brothers that sell you out, you know, because they come for you and because they haven't been built up in the spirit. We got to be built up in the spirit. When they come, they're going to come, as the scriptures say, as a flood. So it's going to be overwhelming. It's not going to be just one cop knocking on your door. Hey, um, I got some information. No, they're coming guns blazing, <laughs> shotgun down your fucking throat. Give up, give up the information, Mike. Have you whatever family members hostage? <laughs> hey, Esau's coming with it, man. And we got to be prepared for that, man. We got to be prepared for the worst case scenario. All right, go ahead, Ak. and father the son, and father the son. So the father is going to be delivering up the son. Imagine that your own blood father delivering you up to, the, to prison for what for, to, for speaking the truth. And maybe because he wants that 50 million. Go ahead, up. And children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Mm, children shall rise up against the parents and shall cause them to be put to death. You know, so brothers might have children that, you know, they don't believe or, you know, they might be with Eve. Eve don't believe, so Eve ruling over them. And then the next thing you know, they all coming for your ass. They all looking at you crazy. Family members, wives, brothers, sisters, looking at you crazy because Esau's, even when you look at 9-11, when that took place, was, hey, we speak on that. You don't think they're going to come for us for speaking on that? Of course they are. Guess what? The elders and apostles actually, they came for the elders and apostles. They was in New York. Elders, elders and apostles got persecuted for that, man. All right? But how much more now? But the point is, is when they put that whole thing on the television, people believed it. 
that planes hit it. You know? So when your family members or friends, when they see your face on the TV screen saying some shit that you never said before, you don't think they're just going to believe the shit? Of course they are. And you're going to have to suffer it. People are going to look at you crazy. People that you thought would never. Mom, it's me. <laughs> People you thought would never. Closest family members, closest friends. They're actually going to believe what they see on television. Even when you see what happened with the C-19, people really believe, you know, the mask and all that, you know. Even now, people still wear a mask in 2022 because of the devil. He deceived the people. That's And that's why Esau is the perfect devil. He is the master deceptor, all right, the, uh, the uh, deceiver, all right. He deceives the people. And that's his, that's his lot. That was his, that's what he was created to be, the adversary. Is that it on that up? No, it's more. Go ahead. I'm going down to verse 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. They said, read that again. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And you shall be hated of all men. That's going to be a crazy time, man. That's not happening necessarily right now. I mean, we go out, we get, we get laughed and mocked at and scoffed at here and there. But it's going to be the point where everywhere you look, you might, people are going to be on, on the hunt for your ass, man. You know? And it said, for what? For my namesake. We're, like I said, we're not going to be just hated for just any old reason. We're going to be hated for the behind the name of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Hell, uh, a year or so back, they had the name of the Lord on the news. The name of the Lord on the news. They're going to demonize the name of the Lord. They might come out and say, hey, whoever is saying this, hey, that, they're a, 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 a DT. Okay? Whoever's saying this, whoever's saying that, you know, these guys say, Kahalo, Yahweh, Shimi, Yahweh, Shai, they might demonize that. You know? But guess what? We're still going to give praise to Yahweh, Shimi, Yahweh, Shai. All right? That's the name of our God. Is you crazy? You think we're going to stop calling on the name of our God? But we're dealing with the devil. It's, it's a very high possibility, man. You know? Like I said, they put the name of the Lord on the news, man. And they called it uh anti-semitism which the in the bible his name is shem it's not sem so anti-semitism that's that's some made up bs man all right and we come from shem we come from shem so how can we be anti that when we, we are that see and that's the devil though you know so they're, they're gonna make a big deal about that you know because those people in the land of Israel today, they're not the people. We're the people. All right? And we're claiming that. All right? And we're using the, the scriptures to back it up through the through, through the Rakah Kodash, the Holy Spirit. All right? That was sent from on high, man. Go ahead, Uck. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So we're going to have to endure through that. It says, he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. We're going to have to endure the persecution. We're trying to be saved, so that's why we have this grace period now to, you know, study, get right, learn the breakdowns, learn the scriptures, you know, uh, pray fast, get closer to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, because it's going to be a time like never before. Uh, grab Jeremiah 30 and 7, Shaquat, Baba Kusha, you know, Jacob's trouble, and that's part of it, being persecuted. Brothers have had dreams, I've had dreams of being persecuted, running for my life. And everywhere you look, it's just people are after you. People are after you. Like you are, you got a bounty on your head. Okay? I've seen visions. I've seen dreams like that. Brothers have had dreams and visions like that. All over. You know? So that's coming, man. And we got to uh, prepare mentally and spiritually for that For that right there. You know, how do we do it? By continuing to uh, do the work of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, study, fast. And really, if, you, if you're of the elect, you're good no matter what. You know, wh whoever the elect is. When we pray to be numbered amongst the elect, I pray to be numbered amongst the elect, the hopeful elect. You know, but guess what? The hopeful elect going to be persecuted too. All right, and they're going to be persecuted the most. They're going to be hated. They're going to be despised. Uh, you got that, Art? Yeah, I got it. Go ahead. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble 
but he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it. So you see, the time of Jacob's trouble is a time like never before. We go into it all the time. The worst time in history. And part of that is the persecution that's coming. It's going to get very, very ugly out here, man. You know, on top of the plagues, the pestilence, you know. Hell, you saw what happened with the whole C-19. You know, they, they was pretty much demonizing the people who didn't want to take the, the Yabba Dabba do. How much more when you don't want to take the uh, Karagma? They're going to say that you're, you are a threat to society at that point. The scripture says that the ones who don't take it should be killed. So, <laughs> they're coming for heads, literally. There's going to be members of the elect that will be beheaded for this truth. Okay, and that's something we all got to meditate on, man. You know? To keep us in a, a, a sober mindset. To keep us in the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, because that is a possibility. Brothers going to get cast into the FEMA camps. But it said it lasts for that day is great so that none is like it. And that day represents a time period. You know? It's called Jacob's Trouble. But it says, the, the latter part of the verse says, he shall be saved out of it. So that gives us hope. We're trying to be saved out of that time, man. You know, and the brothers, the elect will be saved out of that time. Brothers might be cast into a FEMA camp and you might be let out by an angel. Okay, angel might deliver you. You know, but the point is, the Lord is going to test us. The Lord is going to see what each and every one of us is made of. Hey, actions will always speak louder than words, man. So anybody can just say, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. The Lord literally has to put a spirit on you to refuse the karagma. The Lord has to put a spirit on you to endure until the end. You know, so we got to prove ourselves. This is the proving point right now. We're proving ourselves now, but how much more when they put you on the, the, the news, man? All right? They say you're this. They say you're that. We're going to have to endure that. All right? You brothers got anything? Uh, Go ahead, Malak. It's uh, Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Woo! So it's a blessing at the end of the day. It's a blessing to be persecuted for righteousness sake. Persecuted for what? Teaching the truth? All praises. Teaching the truth in a wicked world? All praises. Really, that's what we signed up for, man. You know? Ultimately, we signed up to be delivered, you know, from the worst time in history. But part of that, guess what? You're going to have to go through it. You know, read it again, Malak. Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Mm. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You know, and in that the Lord is going to deliver us. We have faith in that. We have faith that the Lord is going to deliver us no matter what. But uh, guess what? Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness sake. We will be persecuted. And we're going to be persecuted for teaching the truth, for teaching the names of Yahweh, names of Yahweh Shai, teaching that we're the Israelites, you know, teaching about the Karagma, telling people to uh, reject it. We're going to be hated for that, man. You know, you think you hate it now, you think people, you know, <laughs> don't want to be around you now, how much more in that day? You know, and at the end of the day, only the elect are going to endure it. Go ahead, Ak, was there some more? Yeah, it says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you mm. and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Falsely. You see that? So they're going to speak false things. They're going to say you everything in the book. You know? Which you, you aren't going to be any of that. They're going to say you're this and you're that. You're not even going to be that. But they're going to say that falsely. For what? For the name of the Lord's sake, man. And it's going to turn to you for a testimony, man. You know? It's going to turn to us as a testimony. Go ahead, Ark. I have another one. Go ahead. This is Psalms 118 and 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Mm. What can man do unto me? Heavy. You see, so that's why we have the comforter as well. That's why we, we need Yahweh Shai. We're going to need Yahweh Shai to endure through this time, man. You know? So we don't fear what man can do unto us, man. Esau, come with it, man. This devil, he going to come with it regardless. You know, and he's not going to come, <laughs> like, you know, easy. Full force. He's going to come full force. 
you know, I'm gonna come kicking in doors, man. Military. Not just no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be overwhelming, even for the elect. But now we have to be prepared for that. Every day you gotta be prepared for that. Remember what you're a part of. Remember what we signed up for. You want the kingdom of heaven? You want to be of the elect? Understand what you got to go through. Understand you're going to be hated. Understand you're going to be despised. Understand people aren't going to like you. Understand you're not going to fit in. You're not supposed to fit in. Fit in where? To a wicked world? The scriptures say if you are of the world, the world would love his own. But you're not of the world. You know, therefore the world hates you. If we was uh, if we went every Saturday and just brought a, a microphone and a speaker and started playing our latest rap tune, we we best believe we have a nice little crowd out there. People dancing. But no, we out there and we speaking the truth. What do people do? They keep walking. They scoff. They laugh. They mock. And the true demonization hasn't even came yet. So how much more when like I said when <laughs> you driving down the street you know them big old billboards <laughs> you see your face on the billboard you know and then you pull up next to someone and they're looking at you like what the that's, that's is that, that that's yeah let me follow you know and then not not to mention then they got 50 million on your head mm -hmm. dead or alive <laughs> so it's good we coming into that time persecution is coming this whole thing with alex jones is not just a coincidence man that guy's set up man the only difference between him and us, one, first of all, that guy is a fucking lunatic. You know, he's really bugged the hell out. And two, he don't got the Lord, man. He don't got Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. He, even, he spoke against the Hebrew Israelites a while back. All right? So that guy is not, not of the Lord. He's set up by the elite, man, for this, what we're talking about right now, to come down on people that speak up against the government to speak up against uh, their agenda. Okay, it says, uh, Yahweh take of my part with them that help me, that help me. Mm. therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Mm. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in princes. Oof. So, you know, we have, we are confident in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shad, man. You know, we're not confident in men. We're not confident in princes or some high status. No, we're confident in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I had, I was trying to find this article, but pretty much they said that they're coming for you if you speak out against anything, man. I, I had this list. Let me see if I can find it. But pretty much um, anything. You know, if you spoke up against the government, if you spoke up against gun laws, if you spoke up against uh, the C-19, which, you know, what do we do? All the above. All right. Um, let's see if I can find it. You brothers got any scriptures, though? Huh, if you got another one, you can bring it out. I have an account. Go ahead. This I is uh, Daniel 3 and 14. Mm. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, is it is it true? O Cedrach, Mishiach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Mm. Now if ye be ready, that at, at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, uh, psaltery, and duclaimer, duclaimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Right, and that goes into uh, the, the Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which, you know, uh, who was it? Nebuchadnezzar, right? He, he had made um, a golden image, and he said everybody got to bow down to it. They had, they had to worship it. You know, they had songs and things. They had to, they had to pretty much worship this image, this idol. Okay, which the Karagma, that's an idol. When that comes, it's going to be an idol. And the, the penalty behind not taking it is going to be death. That's how real this thing is going to get. Just like this. It's going to be one day you think, and next, next thing you know, okay, death. You don't want to take it, death. And that's going to be out in the air, man. You know? But in this case, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, 
Nebuchadnezzar said, look, if you don't want to worship this image, we're going to cast you into this burning fire pit, this furnace of burning fire pit, man. All right? And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they kept their integrity, man. Go ahead, Ark. Huh. And it says, and who is that? Yahweh Bashmiel Shah that shall deliver you out of my hands. Right. So, you know, these heathens, very proud, man. They don't believe in the Most High. Mm -hmm. You know? Because right, it's going to be the same way in this time, you know. The, you know, the same account in the scriptures, they help you during the time we're about to enter into because we're going to get persecuted and we're going to be interrogated and tried and we're going to even be tormented just by our faith, man, and, and the Lord. And that nothing should, uh, you know, sway you from the love of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, you have certain brothers that might be tormented. You know, that's yeah. not every brother's going to be tormented, but you're going to have brothers that will. That's something brothers are going to have to might endure. You got to think about that. Got to prepare yourself for that. Brothers might get cast into a FEMA camp, you know, might hold this karagma in front of you and say, look, if you don't want to take it, chop, chop fingers off one by one. <laughs> you know, that's just something you got to prepare for, man. You know, go ahead. Ar it says uh, verse 16, Sedrach, Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. Hmm. If it be so, our power, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the from the burning, fiery furnace. And that's the spirit we come in. You know, the Lord is going to be able to deliver us from anything, man. So as we talk about the persecution, the death, the destruction, we also understand that the Lord is going to deliver us, man. And we say that through faith, you know, the substance things hope for. We hope that the Lord delivers us. All right. Go ahead. And it says, and he will de deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Mm. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Mm. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and and the form of his visage, how you pronounce that? Visage. A uh, visage. Visage mm -hmm. was changed against Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was than it was wont to be heated. <laughs> so he got he got pissed. Nebuchadnezzar got pissed, man. You know, when uh Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego they refused to um to bow to this image. Nebuchadnezzar got pissed. And that's how these devils are gonna be, man. When we say nah, we ain't we ain't taking it, you know. They're gonna, they're gonna be heated. Go ahead, and he got so mad that he threw how much times hotter? Seven times. Seven more. complete times, you know, seven times hotter than what it normally is. He said, "Turn that bitch all the way up." All right, that's hey, that's how mad he was. Go ahead, Ark. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into into the burning fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Mm. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, <laughs> and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So, Nebuchadnezzar lost his own men, you know? Those men that, that took up Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego to put them in the furnace, they died. They got burnt because of how hot that furnace was, man. Okay? That's how hot that furnace was, man. That the men that led these men to, to put them in the furnace, they died. The people that was holding them hostage. Go ahead, Ark. And these three men, Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astoring and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Mm. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, mm. walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. So you see, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he's seeing the Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. First of all, they was definitely giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. They was calling upon the Lord, man. When they got in that fi furnace of, uh, of fire, they was calling upon Yahweh Shah, man. And then uh, Nebuchadnezzar got up quick. He said, what? 
he's like, didn't we cast three people into the furnace? He said, why do I see four? Why do I see four people? And that fourth, that was Yahawashah, man. Yahawashah was keeping them safe, man. And to the point which, brother, going to continue to read, and where they came out, there was no smell of smoke on them. That's how safe they were kept in that furnace in the middle of that hot fire that the men already just died for leading Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace. They died. And they didn't even get to the midst of the furnace, and they died. And then you had Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the, in the middle of the fire, and you had Yahawashai protecting them, man. This is an account, man. This is this actually took place. All right? This is, you know, there's miracles all throughout the Bible that the Lord was with his men. Okay? Go ahead, Ark. Okay, and that's the spirit because uh, uh, Yahawashai was a four person and four represents mercy. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is uh, long-suffering merciful. Merciful. He showed mercy on Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And why is that? Because they kept their integrity. And that that might be us. You might you might hey you might be being led to a, a guillotine to be beheaded, and you show your integrity. Next thing you know, that guillotine come down and break on your neck. That's a that's a possibility. And everyone looking at you like what the hell? Handcuffed. This man, this man neck made of steel or some shit. You know that's that's what, next thing you know you break out with spiritual power. You start fucking everybody up. That's a reality. That's the power we serve. But we got to go through the proven process. Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had to be proven. They had to prove their faith. And once they prove, you know what, I'm ready to die for this, man. Do what you got to do. Cast me into the fire, whatever. Guess what? They kept their integrity, and Yahawashai was with them. Go ahead, Ak. It says, and the form of the fourth is like the son of, of Yahawashai. Right. Right. Yahawashai. So it was Yahawashai. Yahawashai was there. Keeping them safe, man. Had a force field around him. Had that, that you know, protection around him. That cloak. That cloak kept him, kept him nice and safe, man. In the midst of a furnace. Keep in mind, those men that led him to be into the furnace, they died before they even got into the furnace. That's how hot it was. Go ahead, Ak. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the, of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High Power, mm. come forth and come hither. Mm. Then Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire, and the princes, governors, and captains, and mm. the king's counselors, mm. being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head seen, <laughs> neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire has passed on them. Not even the smell of fire was on them. That's how protected they was. No hair on their head was burned. Their coats weren't burned. Nothing on them was harmed. Hey, the Lord said the very number of your heads are numbered. You know? So if it was the Lord's will to even just syringe one of his little hairs, he could have done it. He didn't, he didn't even allow that though. The Lord didn't even allow fire to, to the, the smell of smoke and fire to smell on them. That's how protected these men were for believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's how the elect will be protected in the times we're coming into. But in that, we got to prove our faith. You got to know what you're a part of. When they come, because they're coming, they're definitely coming. And when they come, what are you going to do? How are you going to act? Because the Lord said he tries the reins of the heart. He tries the reins of your mind. He's up in your mind. You know, don't get me wrong. Brother's going to be shaken up a little, but the point is you got to keep your integrity, man. All the way up until the end. Even if you do got to see the guillotine. You know, and we pray Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai keep us from the hour of temptation. You know, that's what we pray. We hope, you know. Was that it or not? Uh, uh, Shaquat. Can you grab the uh, prison that you had? Revelation. Yeah, that revelation. All right, this revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So this is uh, red letters. Yahweh Shai spoke this himself. He said, look, man, don't fear none of the things that you're going to suffer. At the end of the day, brothers, we got the victory. The kingdom of heaven is for us, man. All right? We got the, through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, we got the victory. All right? It's already written. All right? The Lord said what? Read it again. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Some of you. So not all of you. 
There's going to be some brothers that might that you might have to prove your integrity like that. You might have to prove your faith like that. Prove if you really believe like that. He said the devil, which is who? Esau, Edom, with his Gerger troops, his soldiers, said the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Those prisons are the FEMA camps, man. That they got set up for Jake. You know, they got the red list, the blue list, and the yellow list. You best believe we on the red list. You know, all the way at the top of the list. <laughs> you know, go ahead, Ock. That ye may be tried. That you may be what? That ye may be tried. That you may be tried. So even with that, it's a trying period. And if you pass the test, if you already elect, the Lord can deliver you out of the FEMA camp. Go ahead, Ock. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Be thou faithful unto death, and the Lord say he's going to give you a crown of life, man. That's the faith we got to have right now. We got to be faithful unto death. Every day you got to meditate on that. If you when, you when that day comes, what are you going to do? Be thou faithful unto death. The Lord says he's going to give you a crown of life, man. Like I said, the Lord can have it to where you have a Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego moment. You put your head in the guillotine, the thing come down, break. You know? Like, what the hell? You know, and you giving all praise to your Bash to me, how shy. You know, and that's going to be a testimony. You know, but that's a possibility. You know, the, the scripture says, some of you shall be cast into prison. So, be on the lookout for that. All right? Yeah, got so. Go ahead, Ak. Uh, This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 20. Mm. But now is Hamashiach risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Mm. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Mm. For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. You see that? So we already got a victory, man. You know, through Yahawashai, him, you know, being put on the cross and, and rising from the, the dead, being risen up. Hey, that f falls onto the elect, man. You know, which the nation of Israel is of the elect. But then even within that, you have the elect of the elect. You know, the, the 144,000 being the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven man you know so hey death is nothing man the scriptures say this a sting of death it's a sting you get stung by a beast oh shit that shit hurt you know but then after that it's, it's it you you at you right at the throne you with the lord you know the uh the the um like the hardest and scariest part is the anticipation the the anxiety leading up to it you know but the death itself is a sting It's a sting, you know, of this flesh You know And that's what the scriptures describe it as You know, so Brothers that might have to go through that Hey, the Lord can have it to where you don't even feel nothing You know, you literally don't feel anything Next thing you know, you just blink of your eyes Hey, what's up, Yahweh Shai? Call the Yahweh Bashimi, Yahweh Shai And he's saying, you right back down Alright, go ahead <laughs> Bring him hither Whoever that, Whoever's not gonna stand before me Slay him before me, man you know, but that's that's the proven proven, you know, scripture says through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Actually, I'm gonna grab that real quick because that's what's that's what's about to take place. It's X14. You got it? No, I was helping you out. Uh, let me see. I got a good call. Acts 14 and 22. It says confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that's what we do. You got to exhort brothers to continue in the faith. It says in that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. All right. Through much tribulation, brothers. All right. We're going to go through tribulation. We're going to be defamed. You're going to be seen as the filth of the earth. Brothers might be cast into the FEMA camp. All right. But that's that much tribulation. That's how we're going to get to the kingdom of the Most High God, man. You know, and in that, like I said, that story, the things that are written aforetime time were written for our learning. And you got the Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You had what happened to Peter when an angel came to him and just broke him out of the prison. You got so much examples in the scriptures of the men of the Lord being delivered. Maccabees. The Maccabees, right? Hey, that's the times we are entering into. And we're looking for major deliverance, man. Uh, if you could grab uh, standard... Enemy shall come in like a flood. You know, and we'll close it out. We're gonna grab maybe one more scripture. Um, 
Shaquat, if you could grab John 15 and 18. And we're going to read that down to 20. You can go ahead and read that. That's Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. So when you think about a flood, you know, it's very overwhelming. It's taking out anything in its path. You know, it says the enemy is going to come in like a flood. So and that's that's biblical prophecy. That's going to happen. All right. But it says the uh, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. When you go into that word standard, it means to take flight, to disappear. Hell, you might be in your house one day and they're coming for you. They kick the door in. Next thing you know, you the Lord have it to where you teleport. You had that happen to um, who was it? Habakkuk? Habakkuk and Bell and the dragon. He was teleported to Babylon. He didn't even know where Babylon was. He said, how am I going to get to Babylon? How am I going to, I don't know where Babylon is. Angel teleported him to Daniel and the lion's den, man. You know? So that's that's the type of uh, faith and that's the type of things we believe in. You know, and that, and that day, the Lord said he's going to lift up a standard, man. Brother's going to disappear. <laughs> Next thing you know, you find yourself on a, in California. So what the, how did I get, and you just going to give up? You're going to know. You're going to know exactly how you got it. You're going, damn, yo, call hello, you help me, I was shy. You know, that's reality. That's what's about to take place. All right. Uh, go ahead, Malak. All right, this is John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Yep. So if, if the world hates you, you know that it, it hated the Lord before it hated us. So, and really, these, this world don't really hate us. It hates our Lord, man. It hates your house shot. And that's why, why you think the Lord say he coming back with a sword? He coming back to destroy. Because everybody loves him? No, because he's despised. He's hated. But he is the Lord of Lords. He is King of Kings. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming back to put everybody down. That's not on his side. All right? If you're not of the elect, if you're not an Israelite, it's not looking good. Go ahead, Ak. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world... I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. You see that? So if we were of the world, even when we was in the world, you, you might have had a lot of friends. You know, people was always hitting you up. And really they was only hitting you up for their own benefit, you know. But if uh, if you were uh, of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world and the Lord had called you out of the world, therefore now the world hates you. All right? Hey, and it's a righteous thing to be persecuted for righteousness sake. It's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. All right? It means we're doing something right. Go ahead. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept in my, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. You see that? So the servant is not greater than his master. We are the servant. Our master is Yahweh Shai. He's the greatest example to look at. You know, look what they did to our Lord. The servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted our Lord, they're definitely going to persecute us. If they kept his sayings, they're definitely going to keep our sayings because we're just speaking the same thing. That Yahweh Shai was speaking. The gospel, the holy truth. You know, so brothers, be ready to be persecuted, but also be ready for a great deliverance as well. You're going to have brothers, like I said, that standard is going to be lifted up. Spiritual power is coming. But in that, you're going to have to prove it. Okay? Once you have proven that you can, can deal with the humility, you have just proven you can deal with the power, man. You know? Mm -hmm. As what? Who was that? Elder Apostle, Apostle Gabar. Uh, Gabar. You know? Uh, beautiful, uh, wise words. Which is true. We got to deal with the humiliation. We got to deal with the, the BS, the persecution. Once you have proven that you can deal with all that, and you can suffer all of that, then you have proven that you can deal with the power. And that power is coming, brothers. All right? So, hey, with that, we're going to close out. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. We are the prophets in Babylon. Till next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.